Welcome to the first ever Tab TV News. I'm Jeremy Ford. I study English and have an overinflated ego because I've read Ulysses and Dante and like to tell people about it in Sydney's after one too many VKs. I'm Maria Jones and I study geography because it rocks. Maria, that joke only makes sense with geology. Turning to this week's headlines, ADC crowd declared edgy in national polls. Lost Komsky found flirting in Lola Lowe's. And big issue setters criticised for lack of diversity. But first, Oh god, you're kidding me. This can't be. What? Did you know about this? Just read the order cue, Jeremy. <laughs> this can't be our new regular section. It was your suggestion. I was joking, obviously I was joking. Why would I recommend this moron for anything beyond boiling the kettle and fluffing my penis? Okay, Jeremy, we are still on air. <laughs> I've been at this station for 20 years. You're 19. Whatever, and he shows up and creates this shitstorm of a... Have gone. <laughs> Apologies, ladies and gentlemen, for that. Yeah, for that brief loss of signal. A minor technical fault meant that we were off air for 20 seconds there, so if you see or hear anything, then you must have dreamt it. Quite. Apologies. Anyway, we're back, and now it's time to throw to our live regular feature with everybody's favourite fresher, genius Neville Dogsbody. Neville, are you there? Yes, hi, thanks, Jeremy. Nice to be here, thanks. How are you? Hi there, Neville. How are things? Yes, fine, thanks, Jeremy. Uh, hi, Maria. So, Neville, after last week's cluster fuck with the pig farm, I hear you've been keeping up with the latest sports news. What other shit have you been fucking up this week, you ignorant prick? Sorry, what's that, Jeremy? I don't think I quite caught that. Sports, Neville! Ah, yes, well, I am very lucky today to be joined for an exclusive interview by none other than tennis sensation Andy Murray. Well, that's actually very impressive, Neville. Well done. You're kidding me. We've been trying to get him since Wimbledon. Don't ask me how he did it. He probably wanked him off at public school. Oh, we're still on air. Right, yes. <laughs> what a scoop there, Neville. Good work. I look forward to seeing some intelligent grilling of one of our biggest names in British sport. Yes, thanks very much, Jeremy. Well, what a thrill it is to be joined here by tennis legend Andy Murray. Maybe he can show us a few tricks of the trade. <laughs> so, first things first, Andy, thanks very much for agreeing to be on the show today. No, no problem. It is all my pleasure. So, Andy, what have you been up to today? This morning, I went to the chemist. Ha <laughs> ha love it. You are quite the raconteur, sir. Good old Andy Pandy. I can't call you Andy Pandy, can't I? I... I'd rather you didn't. So, pandas. Kim Sears. You know, your girlfriend. <coughs> How exactly did you manage that? I mean, you don't have to be Darwin to see that you two are fundamentally mismatched. I... I don't think I'm comfortable with this line of conversation. I mean, no offence, but you are seriously punching above your weight. You and Kim Sears is like Mike Tyson versus Kim Sears. Let's just... Talk about something else, okay? I mean, she picked you. She picked you over all the men in Britain, over all the men in the world, and therefore, by extension, Andy, she picked you over me. Over me! She picked you over me. You don't know what you've got, you, Andy. I don't know, I don't know how you make it up a training every night. You! Crying after a tennis game. You don't, you don't have a lot to feel sorry for yourself again. You pathetic, you bastard. I'm seriously not comfortable with this. I mean, oh, God, that. I'm only joking. It's pathetic to be love rivals in this day and age, isn't it? Hey, pathetic. There's plenty more fish in the seas. This man, this man here, he paid me £1,000 to stand here for five minutes and pretend to be Andy Murray. You found someone to pretend to be Andy Murray? How on earth did you think you were going to get away with that? You're breaking up. Sorry, Jeremy. He doesn't even look like Andy Murray. No, Neville, that's not going to work. No, Neville, I can see you making that noise. Well, thanks, Neville. That was great. Neville Dogsbody there with Andy Murray. What a fuckwit. Tune in next week for Neville's special report on why Cambridge studies on obesity may need a larger test group. Now, in other news... The Student Beans University Drinking League 2012 has announced that Cambridge came near the bottom of its league table. The survey measured by average units drunk per student per week puts Cambridge 51st out of 74 UK universities, with Oxford coming in at 41st. Exactly. That's uh, ten places below Cambridge. Well done, Jeremy. 
They obviously weren't looking at your units of alcohol per week, were they, Maria? Cambridge would have come top. What's that supposed to mean? According to the survey, the average Cantab consumes 17.2 units of alcohol a week. That's just over six pints or 17 vodka shots. We sent our man, Gabriel Smith, out to give it a go. Thanks, Gabriel. St John's was confused with Cambridge University earlier this week by a tourist. Commenting on the error, a John student told Tab TV, We beat Robinson at rugby. In other news, a missing persons report has been issued in the Greater Cambridge area. There have been no sightings of Girton for at least six weeks. If anyone has any information as to its whereabouts, please call 07547 374 910. That number should be appearing on your screens now, and please do call if you have any information. Now, we have some letters from our viewers. Oh, yes, Jeremy, they're great. Great reporting, very insightful. Keep them coming in. Oh, here's one for you, Maria. What's your number? <laughs> oh, it's uh, from me. Not if you were the last man alive and you threatened to kill the entire human race. Uh, tune in next week for our special investigation into bike crime in Cambridge. I'm definitely geared up for that one. I'm going to tire of bike safety. I'm Jeremy Porter. And I'm Maria Jones. This is the Tab TV. <laughs>